All right, now you see that we have 1 through 8. This represents the 8-day cycle of each month that the Lunar Sabbath teaching teaches. Now I want to explain this. Each month can either have 29 days or 30 days. Now actually, the 29 and 30 days, this change out, is done by a Hillel teaching. It was really never the original. When you really do any studying, you find that 30 day days worked perfect. You find these through prophecy. You find scripture on this. You find when you study those prophecies out. 30 day days. Now, the lunar Sabbath teaching will not work on 30 day months if you have 30 day months all year. So they're following a 29 30 teaching of a Hillel teaching that did not teach a lunar Sabbath. It did do 29 and 30, and the reason why, because every two to three years, they would bring in what would be known as a leap year, or the really what it's called in Hebrew is Adar Beit, every two to three years. The purpose of all this, and this is where the Julian calendar begin to come in. Then once you begin to look at your calendars, these calendars were really not put in to destroy nothing. They, matter of fact, when you study on the Julian calendar, the Messiah was under that same calendar at that time. And the Messiah did not raise up against it. When you start studying this, you find out that the Julian calendar was replaced by the Gorian calendar. But neither one of them had lost the seven-day cycle. Israel, which kept 29 days in one month and 30 days in another month, like I said, this was a Hillel teaching. The reason why is to keep their months such as, let's say, the Passover from wind up being in summertime. This is why, or excuse me, in wintertime, and keep the seventh month out of summer because of the universe. But the cycles of days never changed. When they took the Julian calendar and started using a Gregorian calendar, they moved it up to 10 days, but it still never lost a seven-day cycles. They kept the same. In other words, let's just say this. If the timing's right on what I'm saying, but I believe it would have been a Wednesday. Let's say if the Wednesday at that particular time would have been the fourth day, and then Thursday should be the fifth day. But when Thursday got there, they just moved it to 10 because they had to do something because of the cycles of the months were getting like 10 days off. Had nothing to do with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days. The days were still the same. It was the months they were trying to keep in order with the seasons. So, but the lunar Sabbath teaching will fight against a Gregorian calendar, but they use it. They fight against a seven-day unbroken cycles, but they use them. And that's what we want to, to, to talk about here in just a few minutes. But I want to show you something here. Remember this. One month can have 29 days. Next month can have 30 days. This is how the Jewish people do it today. And then every two to three years, they will add what is known as Adar Beit, 
a 13th month. And usually everybody does this. That's trying to keep the feast days. So that's, you know, people are, everybody is pretty much in agreement on all that. But it's the cycles of this lunar Sabbath teaching that they really do not believe that Yah will bless and sanctify the seventh day. So what I'm going to explain here is what happens every month. This don't just happen one month and skip a month, but this happens every month. And ever what happens every month ought to be able to take it back to creation in the book of Genesis and prove that it would work then, but it will not. It won't even, the eight day cycle won't even work now. See, their foundation of their cycles are messed up. They haven't even got a foundation to get started on this teaching. So each month where you see one here, well, they don't believe that this one is really the one that you're thinking of. I said they really do not believe that this number one is really the day that you believe. They do not believe that. They believe that this number one here is really Genesis 1 and 1 where it says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. They do not believe that this day here is where Yahweh said let there be light. We find in the book of Genesis 1 and 5 that Yahweh said that evening and morning were the first day known in Hebrew as Yom Echad. They believe that this second day is Yom Echad. See, what they've got to do, they've got to find a place for the moon. Because their moon governs their Sabbath. In other words, their eight-day Sabbath. Once they get to the eight-day Sabbath, then they're going to move into the 15th day, and then the 22nd day, and then the 29th day. So they run on 8s, 15s, and 22s, and 29s. But let's deal with the 8-day cycle first. So each month, when the new moon comes in, it will start their cycles back over but they use a Gregorian calendar. That's what's so deceiving. And we'll deal with that here in just a little bit. As you begin to look at this, each new moon that comes in each month, when you take this back to Genesis, remember this is not the day that Yahweh created the evening, or excuse me, the light on, this first day here, they do not believe that. This day here is a different day. They believe that this is Genesis 1 and 1. They believe that the light was created on day 2. Now think about that right there. Think about that. Think about what I just said. They believe that day 1 is really Genesis 1 and 1, and they believe that day 2 is the second day of the month, and that's where Yahweh created light. Now let's look at this real close. Genesis 1 and 1. 